Can I blow up balloons with my helium tank? Where'd you get a helium tank, Jeffy? We got him one, Marvin, so he could blow up his own balloons and save money. I don't remember doing that. So is that a yes or? Sure, Jeffy. All right, good. Let's pop down on there. We really bought him that? Yeah, Marvin. All right, Jeffy, that's enough air. Not enough air. Jeffy, it's going to pop. It's not going to pop. Jeffy, yes, it is. Stop it. It's going to pop, Jeffy. It's not going to pop. I told you. Why did it pop? Because you put too much air in it. I didn't put air in it. I put helium in it. What? You know what I'm talking about, Jeffy. You put too much helium in it. All right, well, I'm just going to blow up another balloon. Wait, I'm out of balloons! Yeah, Jeffy, so look, it looks like you're done playing with your stupid balloon. Can you go to the store and buy me more balloons? No! Well, then I'm just gonna search his house top to bottom for more balloons. I think we have some in the kitchen, Jeffy. Great. Why'd you tell him where the balloons are? I'm sorry. All right, Danny, I found a box of balloons. I'm gonna start blowing them up now. All right, don't put a lot of helium in it this time. Okay, Danny. Marvin, do you think Jeffy would make me a pink balloon? Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh, I want a balloon, too. Hey, Jeffy, can you make me a balloon? Here you go, Danny. Here's the first balloon. Well, Jeffy, what is that? It's a balloon. Well, where'd you get it at? Underneath your bed. Let go of it. Why? It's a gross balloon, Jeffy. Gross balloon? Yeah, you, you, you don't you don't use those. Why well, have no more balloons left? Well, Jeffy, why don't you try sucking the helium? Suck the helium? How much is it going to pay me? What? Well, usually when you suck something, they pay you. No, 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 Jeffy, no, no. She's talking about suck the helium. I know. No, look, it makes your voice all funny. Watch. Hey, Jeffy, look, it's me, Marvin. Ha 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 ha! Why'd it do that? Well, that's just what helium does, Jeffy. Look, you try it. Okay. Hey, Danny! What you doing? Ha 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 ha! Why'd it do that? Well, that's just what helium does, Jeffy. Look, keep going, keep going. Hey, I'm Elmo! Tickle my balls! Ha 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 ha! Why'd it do that? Well, look, Jeffy, how about you take the helium tank in your room and keep playing with it? Okay, Danny! Okay, finally got him out of here. All right, guys, you ready to play Pac-Man? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, Junior, you know I love gobbling balls. <laughs> Yummy. God, I hate you. What? Hey, guys, check it out. Fuck. <laughs> All right, now we got that together. Well, that's cool. What is six helium tanks? Jeffy, where'd you get it? My daddy bought it for me. Dope. Dope, 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 dope. Yeah, let me show you what it does. Hey, guys, I'm Elmo, and I got the tickle shit. <laughs> Why does it do that? I don't know. That's just what it does. Well, Cody, you should try it. Okay. Hey, I'm Cody. <laughs> I sound like Elvin or one of the chipmunks, especially from the Squeakle. Uh, not Chipwrecked, though. I haven't seen that one. Or the Road Chip, because I can't watch that until I watch Chipwrecked. It probably sucks ass anyway. <laughs> Why does it do that? Uh, I don't know, Joseph. You should try it. Okay, I'll try it. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. What do I sound like, guys? Oh my god, I sound like SpongeBob! Chef BB! Make me a Krabby Patty! Yeah! <laughs> Why'd you do that? 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 That's so cool. Hey, Jeff, you know what you should do? You should try to suck the entire helium tank. What? All right, bet. Well, guys, I don't think that's a good idea. That seems dangerous. Where does it say that's dangerous? Well, it probably says that somewhere on here. Well, it does say Los Niños Menores de Ocho Años Pueden. Well, oh, yeah, it does say that. I don't know what that means, but it does say that. Do you think that's bad? Well, probably. Jeffy, suck the entire tank right now. All right, I'm going to hit it. <laughs> Oh, I can tell you're still sucking helium, Jeffy. Yeah, Daddy, I'm sucking it like the girl on the street corner that you told me about last Friday night. What? He doesn't know what he's talking about, baby. His brain's messed up from all the helium. It's just so funny because, like, why did you do that? I don't know, Jeffy. It's just what helium does. Marvin, why is his voice still so high-pitched? It should have worn off by now. Well, Jeffy, how much helium have you sucked? The whole tank. Well, Jeffy, that could kill you. Well, no one told me that. Marvin, we need to call a doctor right now. Okay, I'm on it. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, so my son- Look at me when you're talking to me. Well, listen, I'm telling you, but my I son- said, look at me when you're talking to me, goddammit! Look into my eyes! Now tell me, what is going on? What the hell is going on? Well, my son, when he talks, it's weird. Jeffy, talk. Hey, guys, it's me, Jeffy! <laughs> why does it do that? Well, we know why his voice sounds like that, because- well, it sounds to me like his balls haven't dropped. 
But he didn't sound like that yesterday. Well, maybe he got kicked in the nuts and it made his voice higher. Because sometimes when you get kicked in the nuts, it makes your voice higher. Well, no, we know what happened. Ask me how I know. What? Ask me how I know that when you get kicked in the nuts, sometimes it makes your voice get higher. But we know why his... Ask me how I know. How do you know? Well, when I was younger, I was the king at kicking people in the nuts. You don't have legs. Exactly. And this is the story of how I lost my legs. <gasps> don't worry, baby birds. I'll feed you. This is what happened. So back in high school, I was in PE class playing this game called kickball. Now, I'd never really heard of kickball, and I didn't understand the rules, but I thought I could probably figure it out. So they rolled this big red ball to me, and I thought that was some kind of obstacle. So I jumped over it, and then I ran up, and I kicked the guy in the mound right in the balls. And the ball crunch was so satisfying. He squealed like a little girl. And then after that, I was just addicted to kicking balls. I ran around all the bases kicking everybody in the balls. Everybody on the playground was just laying on the ground holding their balls. And I thought I was the kickball champion because everybody was calling me Ball Buster Brooklyn until the PE teacher ran up and told me to go to the principal's office for kicking people in the balls. So I kicked him in the balls, and then I went to the principal's office, and the principal told me that I was suspended for kicking people in the balls. So I kicked him in the balls, too. And then they called the cops, and as you can imagine, I kicked them in the balls, and they were not happy about that at all. So they sent me to jail, you know, they took my mugshot, I kicked the photographer in the balls, and then they sent me to my cell, and I kicked my cellmate in the balls. So then they sent me to the electric chair, and I kicked the executioner in the balls. And then after that, they didn't know what to do. So they called my parents, and my parents came and got me, and my dad said I was grounded for kicking people in the balls, and that that might teach me a lesson. So I kicked him in the balls. And then they sent me to a therapist to figure out why I was kicking people in the balls so much. And my therapist said it had something to do with unresolved feelings about my mother, so I kicked him in the balls. And then they sent me to a mental institution, and they put me in a straitjacket. But my legs were still free, so I kept kicking people in the balls. And then they put me in straight pants so I couldn't kick anybody in the balls. And then my parents and the teachers and the doctors and the cops and Bill Clinton, who was president at the time, they all got together and were trying to figure out what to do about me because I was a serial ball kicker. And then they decided that they needed to amputate my legs because I just could not be trusted with legs anymore. So they amputated my legs, and I haven't kicked anyone in the balls ever since. But if I had my legs back, I'd kick you in the balls, I'd kick you in the balls, I'd somehow surgically give you balls and then kick you in the balls. No ball would go left unkicked. I don't know how you have legs and you're not just kicking balls all day. Because it's wrong? Well, you're a better man than me. Anyway, I think your son's voice is probably high-pitched because he got kicked in the balls. No, he did not get kicked in the balls. We know why his voice is high-pitched. Oh, well then why did you let me tell my very long story? Because you wouldn't let me talk. Oh, well then go ahead and talk. All right, Jeffy's voice is high-pitched because he sucked helium. Oh, I've sucked helium before. Yep, I owed him money. Couldn't pay him back any other way, yeah. Helium Martinez. Owed him 50 bucks, couldn't pay him back, so we had to take him out back, and then we... Oh, you mean helium the gas. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's what I meant, too. Yeah, helium the gas. Yeah, that's that's what I sucked. I, I've sucked the gas. Yeah. I actually have a whole story about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and my Grandpa Joe were at Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, and we stole fizzy lifting drinks, right? And then we started floating up toward the ceiling, but then there was a big fan up there. So then we realized if we burp, it makes us go lower. So... Uh, oh, wait, that, that didn't happen to me. That happened to Charlie Bucket in the movie Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I'm just going to stop talking now. Yeah, so Jeffy's voice is high-pitched. It's just stuck that way. Jeffy, talk. Hello, my name is Nico Bullock. Hmm, well, uh, I don't know. Uh, have you tried burping? It worked for Charlie Bucket. Jeffy, try to burp. Eh, well, I'm doing all I can do. Hmm, hmm. Well, see, the thing is, he sucked an entire tank of helium. Oh my god, that's dangerous! He could have died! Well, is he going to? No, I mean, if he was gonna die, he probably would have done it already. Huh. Oh, oh, I have an idea. H how about this? H have you tried sucking on that gas that makes your voice deeper? There's a, there's a gas that makes your voice deeper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, sodium hexafluoride, I think. Yeah, yeah, you suck it and it makes your voice deeper. It's like the opposite of helium. Well, well grab it. We'll give it to Jeffy. His voice will go back to normal. I mean, that shit ain't cheap, Jack. It's like 400 bucks a liter. What? It is? Yeah, and I have a liter at my house, but it's gonna cost you. Well, um, all I have is $100. Hmm, okay. Well, you know what? For you, buddy, I'll take a 75% loss. But, you know, you can't be too careful. All right, it checks out. I'm gonna go get that. All right, I got it. And it's actually sulfur hexafluoride, not sodium hexafluoride. Duh. It's me being stupid. How can I mix that up? So if Jeffy inhales this, his voice will go deep. Yeah, it should. Okay, you ready, Jeffy? Yeah. Go! <laughs> <laughs> it smells like shit! Wait, it does? Oh god! Oh, what is that? Wait, wait. Oh, <sighs> oh god. That's terrible. It's the worst thing I've ever smelled. What is that? Is that? That is not what it's. 
Oh man, it's my Gamer Girl fart jar. What? Yeah, I bought a jar of Gamer Girl farts for like a thousand bucks off OnlyFans. But why would you do that? I don't know, I thought I might be into it. She said that she only ate deviled eggs and cream cheese for a whole week, and she had C. diff, so, I don't know. That's, that's disgusting! I just thought I might be into it, but I'm not. Well, no, I'm kind of into it. Yeah. Well, so you don't have the fluoride the hexa stuff? No, I do. I just got the jars mixed up. Hold on, I'll get it. Okay, this is the jar of sulfur hexafluoride. Are you sure that's what this is? Yes, it says it right there, and it looks just like the other jar. Wait, where is the other jar? I threw it off the couch. Oh, man, I need that. I paid good money for this. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like this. I think I'm gonna live in here like Sandy Cheeks. What? That's disgusting! Hey, this this is a new low for me. All right, so if Jeffy breathes it, then his voice will be, like, normal. Yeah, I think so. All right, all right, Jeffy, breathe this. <sighs> His voice is really deep. It's not normal. Oh, uh, hey, 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 how about this? Uh, say, Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. Hmm, it's not the same. Well, how are we gonna fix his voice? It's deep now. Oh, I have an idea. Uh, all we need to do is just get a little bit of helium. Well, I already checked out the helium out of the tank. Oh, well, that's not good. Wait, what about that up there? Look at that balloon. Wait, that's not a balloon. That's a. Ew! What says the guy with the gamer girl fart jar on his head. Touche. All right, Jeffy, look. That balloon up there, it's really gross, but we're gonna bring it down here and you're gonna suck a little bit of helium out of it, okay? All right, buddy. How am I gonna get it? <laughs> All right, Jeffy, here's the balloon. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna suck the helium out until your voice goes back to normal, okay? All right, buddy. How is this? Uh, no, suck a little bit more. That's what I said. What about now, Daddy? That's perfect, Jeffy, your voice is back to normal. Yeah! Yeah, today was a big success. I'm gonna go buy more of these jars. Don't judge me! Well, Jeffy, don't suck helium ever again. Okay, I won't. <laughs> <laughs>